This will be my last video on how to get the best skills and personas in the game. After this I will probably make one video on how to get the best equipments in the game and after that I'm not sure I have no plans yet. As always I won't mention the common elemental skills and also most of the personas that I mention in these videos are mentioned because they are the first one to learn a particular skill. You don't necessarily have to use that persona if you don't want to just inherit the skill to another one. But I will also mention some personas that are very strong and I will recommend them. The first one is already one that I recommend. You can get Seth at level 51 and he comes with a very strong skill, One Shot Kill. One Shot Kill is basically the gun version of Lucky Punch and it deals a lot of damage. One thing you have to remember is that Apt Pupil doesn't affect gun damage, so if you want to increase that critical rate, you have to learn Trigger Happy. You can get Trigger Happy from Matador at level 22 or Hellbiker at level 43. Another reason I recommend Seth is because it's required for the Twin Warden's Confident. The easiest way to learn High Counter is from Dakini, who learns the skill at level 52. You can fuse Dakini with Pazuzu to get Horus, which is one of the ingredients for the advanced fusion to get Seth. Next one on my list is Pale Rider. You can get him at level 53 and he learns Magidola at level 54, which is a better version of Magido. Megidola will be your best almighty skill until you learn Megidolaun much later in the game. As a bonus, Pale Rider also learns Evade Blast at level 57 in case you want to inherit it to other personas. A small mention for Skadi who learns Repel Ice at level 60. Next one in the list is Yatagarazu at level 57. He learns Majarahan at level 59, which is a full heal for your party, and also it learns a passive to nullify wind damage at level 62, which you can inherit to other personas. Now this one is a big big recommendation. You can get Trumpeter at level 59 using advanced fusion and he learns debilitated at level 65. Debilitated is the best debuff in the game. And if you don't want to use Trumpeter, you can still itemize it for the debilitated skill card. Although I don't usually mention personas for their elemental skills, I will mention Lilith because she learns heavy fire, ice and wind damage to all foes. You can get her at level 60. Next one is Melky Zedek at level 60. He learns God's Hand at level 67, which is a very strong single target physical skill. At level 60, Moloch is another one that I will mention briefly. I don't have it here on my compendium, but he learns Absorb Fire at level 64. Next one is Nebirus at level 62. She learns Mage Dolan at level 68, which is the highest damaging almighty spell. There is another one later in the game that does a bit more damage, but that one costs a lot of SP and is not efficient. Another small mention this time Serio at level 62, which learns Repel Nuke at level 63. Questa Kotel at level 63 learns Regenerate Free at level 65. Regenerate Free heals 6% of your HP every turn, so it might be useful on your physical damage dealers. Next one is Yamata no Orochi at level 64. It's not here on my companion because I deleted it by mistake, but he learns Unshaken Will at level 69, which gives you immunity to all psychological statuses, like rage, confusion, etc. etc. Next is a big one. Black Frost at level 67 is one of the best personas you will use in your first playthrough. He has no weaknesses, is effective against 4 elements, starts with very strong skills and can also inherit Automataru from King Frost which learns it at level 64. Automataru is a passive that gives attack up to all the party at the beginning of the battle for 3 turns. You can also fuse other interesting skills into King Frost before making your Black Frost. Next one is Throne at level 71. Throne has Invigorate 3 which recovers your SP by 7 every turn. Next small mention is Moth at level 72. He learns Repel Electric at level 77, but the reason why he's important is because of the next persona. You can get Cybel at level 73, and she's one of the best healers in the game. She learns Samarekarm, Medirahan and Salvation. She also learns Absorb Bless at level 77 in case you want to inherit that to other personas. And for her weakness to electricity, you can fuse Moth with any persona of the Sun type which is around level 39 to 53. Next one in the list is Abaddon at level 74. He learns Drain Physical at level 79 and also Gigantomachia at level 80. Gigantomachia is a very strong multi-target physical skill. Next one is Baal at level 75. He learns Ayamur at level 80 which is a very very strong version of Miracle Punch and is the only persona who can have it. It's exclusive to Baal so you cannot inherit it to other personas. This one is a very good one because of the skill. You can get Ongyoki at level 75 and he learns Arms Master at level 77, which halves your HP cost for all physical skills. 
The problem is that to fuse it, you need max confident rank with Futaba. In case you don't meet that requirement, you can get Raphael at level 78, and King learns it at level 83. Raphael also learns Kid Riser at level 80, which is the best single target buff in the game. Next one in the list is Sandalfun. You can get him at level 75, and he learns Angelic Grace at level 77. Angelic Grace doubles your evasion against all elemental magic, but you need max confident rank with Mishima. In case you don't meet that requirement, you can get Suraosha at level 80 and he learns it at level 83. Next one is another good skill. You can get Futsunushi at level 73 and he starts with Ali Dance. Ali Dance halves the hit rate of all attacking enemies and it works for the entire party. But to fuse him you need max confident rank with Morgana which is story related and happens towards the end of the game. In case you don't meet that requirement, you can get Gabriel at level 77 and he learns it at level 79. Next one is Koryu at level 76. He learns Spellmaster at level 82 which halves all your SP costs. It has a requirement of max confident rank with Sojiro, and in case you don't have it, you can get Uriel at level 81 who learns it at level 86. Another small mention this time for Kali at level 77. She learns Drain Nuclear at level 82 and is the only persona who has this skill. The last two will be very strong personas. The first one is Alice at level 79, which is one of the best magic personas in the game. She starts with a very high stats in both magic and agility, and learns both Megidolaun and Concentrate. Her only weakness is Bless, so fuse Cybel into either Nebiros or Belial, and then inherit Absorb Bless. To unlock the fusion, you need max confident rank with the Doctor. The last one in the list is Yoshitsune at level 79. He is one of the best physical damage dealers in the game. He starts with very high strength and is the only persona who can learn Asotobi at level 86. Asotobi deals 8 times weak damage to all enemies. It's basically better than 2 swift strikes. One of the ingredients of Yoshitsune is Futsunushi, so you need max confident rank with Morgana. So this was the last persona on my list. There are still strong personas beyond level 80, but if you're going that deep, I don't think you will need my help anyway. I have covered almost all the best skills in the game anyway, and there aren't many skills that are obtainable only from personas beyond level 80. I really thank you for watching my video, and if you enjoyed it or found it useful, please like and maybe subscribe to my channel. I will make at least another Persona 5 video, and then if I get other ideas, I will make other ones. With that being said, thank you again for watching, and maybe see you in the next video.